this one of them? That's one of them. Man, that thing's been there a minute. It's been there a while. Been there a little while. <laughs> You have any idea how long it's been sitting there? It looks like At it's least been there. twenty years. <laughs> I would say probably, probably be okay saying maybe thirty to forty. At least twenty. Yeah. Those trees right there, probably. I don't know, just by looking at some of the trees. Here. Wow. Yeah. There's a tree here that's done ate up the side view mirror. <laughs> Looks like it still has the motor and transmission in it. Hard to say if it's still any count. Yeah, this is cool. I figure it's probably, I don't know, not the greatest on these. It's 47 and 52, somewhere in there. Mess a lot of it with the five windows, which uh, to me, the three windows are just as, just as cool. The license plates has 68 on it. Oh yeah? Man, it's neat. Looks like it'd be fun getting it out of there though. <laughs> Man, my chainsaw. What, <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's where we come in, huh? <laughs> oh, it might not be too bad. I don't know how you're going to salvage the. You're going to cut around the mirror, kind of above and below. Yeah. Preserve your little wood uh, that's, with it. That's what it looks like. It may take. That's crazy. I've seen them grow into into vehicles all different ways, but a mirror. That's the that's the first time I've actually seen it swallow a mirror. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely interested in this one. This is pretty cool. It's okay. got it's got its fair share of rust down low, but most of all the time the rockers are always bad, and uh, that's a typical spot. I think it's cool that it's still complete. I mean, it'd be neat to kind of see if you could get it up and up and going. I know it ain't just gonna pop right off, but those are the ones that'll surprise you. Yeah. Amazes me as much glass is still left in it. Right. Yes, you know, yeah. normally kids with a BB gun take care of that. Mm hmm. Headlights, too. Headlights, too. That's what I was just going to say. Well, that'll work, man. What else, what else do you have out here? Got another vehicle back down in the back of the place, but before we go over there, um, I don't know, you want to look at, at, at an old cab of a pickup over here? Sure, yeah. Anything automotive related, I, I somehow find an interest in it. <laughs> it's like about the late, late 70s or so. That's what I would guess it to be. Oh, it does still have the motor in it. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so I guess it, yeah, it's got partial frame up underneath it. They cut it behind the cab there, I guess. Yep. That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah, it's just the cab. I bet that motor's good for someone to go through the doing that. Might be. Old Holly carburetor on it. Shame it wasn't a four-wheel drive. We could get it running and just drive it just around. Drive it out. Drag <laughs> it around. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of stuff like that around here. Just, you know, some old pipe and gas pump. Oh, yeah. Oh, gas pump's pretty oh. cool. Would you consider letting the gas pump go with whatever we buy? <laughs> sure. There again, I mean, it's just mobile. Yeah. They make cool pieces to set out front of the shop, that's for sure. Yeah. We've got some older ones. That one's, that one's a little newer than what, we, what we've had, but it's definitely got a cool... Jetsons look to it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're interested in that, throw it in whatever we make a deal on too. So the other the other old vehicle you got, it's a it's an old Willys. I think a Willys made cars. I think a Willys. I think of Jeeps. Right. Uh, but it's a car. Hmm. Two door. Oh car. yeah. I would guess it's. It's got the look of a 50 something model too, but. Right. Is it a, has it got a motor or anything in it? Or no motor in it. Just a roller? No motor in it. It's just, it's just the body. Mm -hmm. Now we'll have to, we'll have to turn around and go back through the way. It's a pretty good little piece back over there, but we can go look at it and see what you think about it. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll back up and say back that way. Yeah, you okay. just back up and then we'll, we'll head that way. Okay. Go through, go through the gap and, and head down there and look at it and see what you think. All right, yeah. I like what we're seeing so far. Okay. I think cool. hopefully we can come together on something and help you out, help us out. And... Yeah, good deal. <laughs> All right, I'll back up and follow right. it down there. Sounds good. All right, thanks. I don't guess I've ever seen one of these either. A little bit smaller than what I was expecting. Yeah, like I said a while ago, I didn't even, I didn't realize they even made cars, yeah. but. Kind of puts you in mind of them old shoebox Fords in a way. It's actually not in too bad a shape, yeah. sheet metal wise. Floor paint's in pretty good shape. Look to be anyways. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure there's a there's a slew of guys that could probably tell you everything you wanted to know about this whole thing. Probably so. And you have any idea of where you'd need to be at on all this is not typically my cup of tea, but I definitely try to do you something with it and know somebody that <clears throat> right. Know somebody that it, mm -hmm. that it is. Mm -hmm. And what's bad is it may be one of those things. I'm really interested in the old, you know, truck because I've messed with those. But this may be something <laughs> that I need to be more interested in and don't even know it. Yeah, but you never know. Either way, like I said, the the car, the truck, the old uh, cab, and I'd I'd love to try to get that gas pump off of you too if it was possible. Um, I didn't really know what you were going to have out here. I wish I'd have brought a bigger trailer, but I could definitely make a few trips and get them, get them out of your hair. <laughs> well, you know, ultimately to me, all I'm looking at is to get it out of the way and, and, and help me pay for a little bit of dozer work or something to clean the stuff up when it's gone. So Yes, sir. I mean, um, all put together, um, grand work for you thousand bucks uh yeah man that works for me the old truck is uh having the motor in it and just i, I like the fact how stuck it is <laughs> kind of fun being able to work at them and get them out and i'd love to see if we could get that old thing up and running well you know that leaves a little meat on the bone i mean surely you know you can probably make some there on it and it's a good deal for you and it works for me and right. everybody's happy at the end of the day right so yeah no, that works for me. Uh, I guess just trying to make a little game plan in my head. I'd probably like to go ahead and try to get the, the toughest one first, which will either be that old cab or that uh, that Chevy there. Um, well, just so, whatever, whatever suits you, and I'll help you. You know. Yeah. Whatever you need me to do. Is it cool? I know you said you're gonna clear it out. Is it cool if we have to trim some? some of those trees down. I know at least it's one. Either, it's either you trimming or me <laughs> dozing them. So either way, yes, it doesn't matter. Cool. Alrighty then. Well, if that works for you, I'll grab some cash and we'll kind of go back over there and scout stuff out a little better and okay. make a game plan on getting it out. It's a deal, man. Right, appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Thank sir. You. I'll grab some cash real quick. Okay. Engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back. Tennessee, oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. Promise that she's married. I think we got a pretty good deal on this old stuff. Yeah, I think so. It's... I mean, this one obviously is the one I'm most interested in. Right. Also, one the most stuff. <laughs> yeah, one that's going to have to have the most work done to it, too. So kind of curious about this motor. It looks complete, but the old hinges are rusted on it. We may have to get some WD-40 a hold of them. 
can get over here and help you out a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to soak it down. I don't want to mess something up, but it looks like everything's there. Get that hood open and see if that crank will turn over or not. Yeah, the wires aren't even chewed up bad, it don't look like. Yeah. You'd have thought the squirrels would eat them up. It's sunk in the ground pretty bad, so we'll, I figure the best thing is, obviously we're gonna have to start clearing out a lot of this old yeah, we'll trees get rid of these and stuff. Yeah, small stuff first in front. If we clear that stuff out and be able to just pull, do a straight pull on it, we, there's some of them trees over there on the other side are up against it pretty bad, but yeah. I'm gonna say these tires shouldn't hold there, <laughs> but I bet they probably will take a little air. So hopefully they will. If if not, we'll start digging at it and get it out. But what do you think? You gonna get started? Might as well get started. Figure to start clearing some of this out, or yeah, might as well get started. It ain't gonna get no cooler not till till it gets dark. Right. We got a good pathway. To get a running start at it now. Yeah, other than I shut down my shade, I cut down my shade. <laughs> yeah. So guys, real quick, this video is brought to you in part by Factor. Now, Factor is a company that specializes in delivering pre-made meals directly to our doorstep. With our busy schedule around the shop, we often find ourselves with a short time frame for lunch and a large appetite. Every week we receive meals from Factor that are prepared and ready to eat in just a matter of two minutes, which works perfect for us to just pop it in the microwave and get back to work. Now this is not just a cheap TV dinner. Factor meals are always fresh and never frozen. So all you have to do is heat, eat, and enjoy. So for us, Factor works out really well because we're not having to break away and go to the grocery store or stop in at a busy restaurant. We simply just pick out what meal we want Pop it in there, in two minutes we're done. So if you guys are interested, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code RESTORED50 to receive 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com and use code RESTORED50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to the show. I wonder if we can get this hood open. I got some WD-40 we can spray on them hinges. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty rusty there. I don't know if the other one's about probably the same. Let's soak them down real good, and in the meantime, we can maybe work it back and forth, get it open. I, <laughs> I want to see if it's locked up or not. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see that too. I'll go grab some WD-40 and get on them. And, oh no, we may else. have to trim these back a little bit to... Yeah, baby, to get it up without fighting it. Yeah. I guess I better be careful reaching my hand up in there. Yeah. It's that one there that looks like it's gonna be the, the problem. Pretty rusty. Let's see if you can get it.
figure if we could ever get it to work a little bit. It's starting to give a little. It's starting to move a little bit. Yeah. But weak spot in the hood there. Yep. Can you grab on the bottom side of that hinge there and kind of push up? Get my gloves on that, that thing's hot. There. There you go. Yeah. All right. I see. It's not a good sign, is it? No, that's okay. not at all. Yeah. Everything's there, but one of the most important pieces is gone. So, I'm trying to find the dipstick on right here. Pull it out. No cap on the radiator either. I kind of wish we would have had a. Could have got a little bit more of a story of yeah, dry. Dry. I don't see this thing turning over. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that happening. Just the belt broke. Yep. Well, you never know until you start digging into them. Yep. The water pump's not froze up though. No. <laughs> well, now that we know that's not a option <laughs> an option i guess we'll go ahead and start let's try to shoot some air to these old tires and see if see if it'll lift itself out of the ground a little bit it's gonna make it a lot easier yeah anything at this point's gonna be in our favor and help us i'll grab the air hose i may have to back up just a little bit to get to all of them okay i'll go ahead and clean try to find valve stem Got to dig it out to even find the valve stem. It's yeah. probably gone, huh? No, it's right there. It looks like a tube in it. Huh. It needs something to clean that end out, really. Yeah. I don't see any, any hope for this one. That means it'll probably oh. air up. <laughs> Ouch. That's not perfect, but it's a little more air than it has. I mean, a little more movement than it has. Looks like it's broke there. At the... mm -hmm. Can you kind of hold it in? Let me get my gloves off. Let's put my fingers on. I think there's still just a little lot of dirt in that. Uh... Yeah, you can't blow through it. We'll come back to it. I'll spray some WD-40 in there and it'll break that dirt up a little bit. Yeah. This one's up at the top, so it's not gonna be full of dirt. Looks like all of them got tubes in them. Yeah. No hope for that one either, doesn't look like. No. Nah. Nothing. I don't figure it's even worth the trouble of trying to mess with them other ones. They're all going to be the same. Yeah. yeah. This one here's got a long one. Sticks out about yay far, so. I'm sure they're probably all ripped right there where I the bet. valve stem. Yep. Matches in with it, so. I guess. Yeah, and I'm going to bet this one doesn't air up at all either. Guess we're on the right route then with that shovel. I'll grab another one and we'll just kind of dig out around it just a little bit so it's not too much of a bind on that winch. Should okay. Make a little path where it can at least travel through. I think we're going to have to cut another tree here. We're right up against the fender. Yeah. And, oh yeah, we got to get the one that the mirror's on. Oh yeah, <laughs> kind of forgot about it. 
It's pretty crazy how it did that. Yeah. Uh, I think once we, I think our best bet's gonna be to just try to maybe pull the truck sideways away from them just a little bit. Uh, I hate to lay all them trees down and I not have a good way of stacking it up somewhere. But really, this one and the one that's got the the mirror, the only ones that are really, I mean, there's some down there, but if we can get it to pull that way, it'll, it'll pull it off that, yeah. that running board. Yeah. I mean, it's just barely against it. All right. I'll grab a shovel if you want to cut that or shovel or uh, whichever tool works. Let easiest. me shovel first and then I'll come back and cut that. All righty. I think I got this one enough, it'll come up. If not, I'll have to cut a root. This old ground ain't too hard. No, it's pretty, pretty good. It's not that old hard black land set up like concrete. Just hoping there ain't no roots off this little tree here that's grown into anything. I know I've seen a lot of spiders around this old truck. Yeah. It'd be pretty easy to give this one a theme. Yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Black Widow. Yeah. You know them old brakes are gonna be locked up solid too. that old mirror I'm gonna cut above it so I probably have to have you come hold that limb I'll cut above it and then cut below it and then cut cut down low yeah just give us a little block there yeah it'd be cool to pull that that little piece of wood back home with us yeah <laughs> I don't know what's the easiest way for you to get in there. I'm gonna cut partly through it and then I'll, I'll let you go. Whenever you're ready. Ready? Yeah.
Don't want to let go, does it? No. We got a souvenir we can bring home with us now. Yeah, I don't know how good you are at carving, but maybe you can carve a mirror out of that. <laughs> I can carve a mirror out of it. I just don't <laughs> know how well you'll see back in your reflection with it. You always be looking at the woods. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be tough. There's not yeah. a whole lot of stuff that's. Uh, was hoping the tires would air up to at least get it off the ground some. So I dug out that one a little bit. We've got it free this of the. This one's up against the root going out that way, so there's no digging it. Right. This side doesn't look too bad. There's not much, like I said, the trees are in the way. You can't really even dig at it anyway. So we may be at a point pretty close to where we'll hook a hook the winch to it or something and try like to pull at an angle. Yeah, a bit. pull it at an angle away from these trees, just a little bit where we can get straight up with it and pull it on. So uh, yeah, it won't need much. Maybe a couple of inches right there to get it off that that stump, and I think it'll go. Yeah as long as it's free. Right. I'm going to dig up on this back wheel a little bit more. The deal always seems so much better when you, <laughs> before you start on the project. Yeah. Yeah, you always think, well, this is going to be a good one. We, we can work on this one here and get it out, give it a little struggle, and then it, the sun's <laughs> out there and it's comes an issue real quick and the horse flies yeah Lance this cross member it's buried up into the ground you can just barely see the top of it oh uh, yeah 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 should have known so with as sunk as this side is uh, and our best approach may be just to go ahead and try to give it just a little test pull, pull to the side a little bit with the winch. And if it doesn't want to pull too easy, uh, obviously we'll have to get up underneath it with some jacks and get it up off the ground. Yeah. We can cut some of them limbs or trees or something into little chunks and stick up right, underneath the yeah. tire. Jack it up, put those little pieces of limbs up or trees up underneath the tires. So I'll get the trailer pulled back around. Uh, surely we can hook onto the frame rail up here. Yeah, hook on the so. it. I'll just try to pull that angle just a little bit and see what it does. And, uh, okay. Well, I'll get that strap while you. Let me know when I've pulled it too much and the winch breaks and the front <laughs> bumper rips off. <laughs> Find a place to hook it. Yeah, there's a brace about that wide going across where the radiator sets on, so I was able to. Yeah, I pulled up. I figured I'd kind of get at an angle here where we can pull it somewhat away from those trees. So yeah, pulling from the passenger side should work good. Go ahead and get, this stuff out get that way. cable out here. I don't really have high hopes of this working, but 
I mean, it's just hot out here. You tend to get a little, <laughs> yeah. a little lazy. Well, I prayed about it, so maybe it'll, yeah. that'll help. Still got a little bit of a stump right there that might give us a little bit of trouble. Yeah, when I was cutting it, I was trying to get it as low as I could, but I couldn't get down in the dirt. Give it a shot, you ready? Ready. Pulling me backwards, but it ain't pulling that nowhere, is it? No, it ain't moving. It's starting to? It looked like it moved here for a second, but I can't really tell. Yeah? Nah. I think we're gonna have to get it up underneath I think it so too. get it out of that hole it's setting in. It'll come out. Just not right now. I'm just gonna leave that strap hooked to it. We'll have to yeah. have it again later. I'll grab a jack real quick, and if you can find some little pieces of wood, maybe we can put up underneath the tires. We're probably gonna have to cut a few of them. Yeah, so. that should work good. I have to dig a hole for the jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's our low profile one. Coming up out of there now. Couldn't get the best bite on the frame rail there. How much more we're gonna need? Yeah, uh, looks like quite a bit. Not I a may, whole lot, but I may have to get some underneath there where I can get a better bite. Okay. Uh, get more. Can you go up just a little bit more. Yeah. I can kind of get it under the front edge of it here. I probably can. Well, the back end of the jack's all lifting up. Yeah, I think go with that, and then you can. <laughs> didn't help you none, did it? It didn't seem like much. Oh. Well, what's up with this jack? Harbor Freight, huh? <laughs> there, there it goes. Hopefully that lace spring ain't so rusty, it just pops in half. You want these in there long ways with the tire or crossways? Um, I'm thinking maybe crossways That's what might I'm thinking work that way better. Kinda... So I don't know if I'm getting out of shape or getting old. Don't take much to get out of breath. It's one in, it's one in the same, believe me. <laughs> uh, we actually got both. Both of them are starting to lift. The whole front end starting to come up, so that's good. Um, I could probably take this big one and slide right up underneath it, where it's probably gonna be best used. Remember to watch for live critters that don't consist of us. Cross members way off the ground now, so that's that's good. There we go. I'm 
may have to, once you're good on that side, I'll probably move this jack over this okay. way. Okay, yeah, I'm good on this side. All right. I would dare to say that, you know, the license plate said, what, 67, 68. 68? I would dare to say this truck's definitely been sitting out here since the 70s, you know, early 70s probably. I'm gonna try to kick it under there. All right. You wanna try to go with that? Let's see if I can get some here at the side of it too, so that it'll have something, if it goes off, that it'll have somewhere to go. I think we're good at that. At least if we get tired of messing with it, we got some firewood up underneath that we can yeah. go ahead and light it up. Ready? Down? Yeah. Let's go ahead. We did and some good because we're away from the tree. We're out, we're, we're out of the notch of it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the back the same way. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut some more, more limbs. All right. That's all I did for those. I think those big ones help, so I'm gonna do some big ones first and then all right. get some small ones. Trying to figure out a spot here to get the jack up underneath it, but the leaf spring's sitting on the ground, so. You want me to cut these trees at the back? Maybe get it back at the back and do it? Uh, yeah, I guess. I could probably get on the frame rail there a lot easier. All right. You're willing to do it. I'm willing to let you. <laughs> I'm willing to do anything that's gonna make it easier on us. <laughs> Got it. I guess there was a couple more around the bumper that was gonna yeah. keep us from moving it anyways. Bunch of thorns. Yeah, these old thorns are worse than any of it. Well, I didn't get that one, but I think that one, will, that one should be okay. Yeah, I should be able to get up underneath there. There just wasn't any room on the side. Oh man, I got that one, I don't know. It's just grown up into the, into the truck. I get where I need to get with it. Bumper's too low. May have to go there. All righty, that'll work.
Did you want to just pick it up? And I then was I'll... just fixing to ask. I'll go ahead and pick it up. You want to stick these logs on it? Oh, I'm wondering. I hear maybe... stuff crunching. So I said, I'm wondering if we need to do that other side first. Yeah, it's getting into that tray a little bit. I cannot work in gloves. I normally can't, but my hands are so cold right now I can't hardly feel them. <laughs> I bent that over so it'll poke me in the face here in a minute, so. How's that tree look over there right now, just the way we got it? Is it against it? No. No. Is that tree, is this tire pretty stuck or? It's not real stuck, it's just no. that root has grown in front of it. Like a, like a big old block. Yeah. We can get something under it so it can just go right over top of it, I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, it's pulling us way away from that tree. If he's gonna knock all these trees down, he may be a little disappointed we left a few. <laughs> Let's keep going. I mean, if I can get this big one here under it, it'll be better than those. Sliding others. a little bit on the. Okay, I'm good there. All right. How we look? We look good. We'll go up over that easy. And we're about two inches off the tree now, so. Something seems different with this tailgate to me. Like it's, it Small. seems shorter yeah. than. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way up anyways, but still, yeah. Maybe it's down too low. I don't know what the deal is. And I guess those are, I don't know what those come off of. Maybe something somebody's looking for. Brooklyn. Yeah, there's a coil. <laughs> How much more I need to go? Yeah, if you can go up another inch or sliding, two. Just sliding a little bit on this leaf spring. But honestly, where the shackle and the leaf spring go together don't look too, too trustworthy. <laughs> a little bit more? I'm good right there. Good? Yep. All righty. Well, it looks a little less Stranded and abandoned. <laughs> Gonna grab something to, to drink and then yeah. try to try to see if it'll move to the side a little bit. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's good. We need to line up with it and pull it straight on because if not, that tree's gonna get between the fender and the bumper. Yeah. All right, I'll let the winch out and re-aim the trailer. Okay. Find a spot. Yeah, I also found out why we don't have any oil. Oh yeah. There's a hole about half the size of a baseball on the passenger side close to the bottom on that oil pan. Oh yeah. Is it rusted out or look like something went through it? <laughs> it looks like it rusted out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna run. If not, it ain't gonna run easily. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're ready. Alright. Have to take a little slack out of this 
cable real quick. Thank you, sir. You think we're gonna have to try to get the doors open to steer that thing some? I bet we do. I don't know. I don't know that the wheels are gonna turn and anything, yeah, but they just, are they are turned. So I think it's just gonna kind of ski, ski on it, there, yeah. but still it's gonna be skiing towards the left side. I know this side over here will not open for nothing. Handles broke on this side. That's this one too. I tried it earlier. I don't know if I can get my hand down in there. I'm scared if I get my arm in there, I won't be able to get it out. <laughs> uh, I don't know how. It go down a little bit more. Where's Almost, the hand? you like about, you right, you tipped it right forward just a hair. Right there's it. Uh, I think you need to be down about three more inches. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't see that working. I guess let's just go ahead and try to pull it on there and then... See what it does? Yeah, worst case scenario, that window's busted already. We'll go ahead and knock it out and where we can steer it. Did you say it was already like that? Yeah. Who'll ever know? Here we go. The back wheels are actually turning. We're plowing up right here. Yeah, that's what I start to say. This one's plowing. We really need them wheels to turn straight so it'll at least be a Yeah, we're so close to the trailer though. Once I get up on the trailer, uh, let me try to give it a little bit more. I'm gonna get some of this dirt out of the way. Can you hand me that shovel there? Let's see, once it gets up on the trailer, it'll slide a lot easier, it should. Get rid of this 100 pound of extra dirt work. We may have to stick the jack under the front end and jack it up and let it pull forward like we did on B-Line. Chasing honey. Oh, that ain't turning. Alrighty, I'm gonna go again. Alrighty, I got my pants hitched. Oh, just a sec. Our back bumper's about to catch this tree. Let me see if I can keep it pushed over. Try it? Yeah. Keep going? Keep going. Good? Yeah, we're good. Just a sec. It's gonna be really close getting it up that. I don't know if we can. 
The front's going really well, but... Back's just kind of staying. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it's going to come up, but we're going to be really close. Yeah. Right in here. <clears throat> well, once we get up on there, if Maybe we can, up, yeah, we'll put it. the jack on it. Uh, about three, two to three foot, and we'll be on the trailer. Yeah, about three foot. Yeah. I see it way back here. These things are always so neglected, but yet they never want to leave. Ready? Yeah. Kind of, how are we looking right here? Is it just the tire? It's just the tire, yeah. I think we're Yeah, pull. the front's actually going on there surprisingly. It's, we got a, I don't know, it may pull past it now. That rubber's trying to get in between the fender and that little thing there, but. Man, I wish we could turn that. Um, keep going? I, I think so. Or do you want to try to get it over somehow? I can move the winch over to... As far as front end wise, we're fine. It's just that wheel. Just the tire? Yeah. yeah. The tire, the wheel's away from it. It's just that little part of the tire there that's... I'll keep going. Okay. We're just about where I started up on it. I'll see if I can kind of keep pressure pushed. All right. Okay. Getting close. Yeah, we're right up against the license plate bracket. I don't know. The front went on pretty good, and the back, which should have went on straight, went on. Yeah. Yeah. If it was shorter, it'd be fine, but it just ain't. What if I winch it now and just keep a good push on it? Even if we put a ratchet strap over here. I started to say if we had a ratchet strap, maybe I could, I could pull over, put a bind on it to keep it going that direction. I think that'd be the best thing to hook to. Uh, I'm going to go to this other side. Okay. Can only get it out while we go. I don't think the Willie's, little Willie's car is going to be near the struggle. The old cab might be fun. Well, the good thing about the cab is the back end's not going to be locked up. Yep. I'll just kind of, let's work together. Okay. I'll push, you kind of. I'll push, you You push, I'll pull. Or vice versa. I think we're good. I think we can take it off. You want to keep going a little more? I think we're, what we're doing is we're fighting. The yeah. getting tight, yeah. That worked though. Yeah. I'll just come up on it a little bit more. I mean, when I say a little bit, like six inches to a foot, and we'll call it good. Ready? I'm ready. Works for me. Works for me, even better. I don't know if it looks sadder sitting out in the woods or on the trailer. <laughs> Pretty rough old girl, ain't it? Yeah. That's what's bad is when you come up on them in the woods, 
they look really neat in that and you get them loaded up on a trailer or something like that away from their their regular spot they kind of look yeah they look a little rougher let's throw some straps on this thing and get an ac <laughs> i agree well, in my absence i'll be surely missing you i've been working every day and i sure hope you love this too if you cause the death, hope you always think about me. And if you think I will find another, it ain't true. Keep the home fire burning while I'm gone. I'll be back to fan the flame, it won't be long. Just a while, and then I'm back where I belong. Keep the home fire burning. I guess we'll get to loading this old girl up. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Definitely don't think it's gonna be as hard as the old Chevy. <laughs> no, not near as many trees to have to cut down. Yeah. I hate it don't have a motor or transmission in it, but pretty unique car, I guess. I've never seen one before. No, I hadn't either. Kind of puts me in mind them old shoebox Fords in a way. Yeah. yeah I don't know how hard it's gonna be to make the hood fit back down on it but I guess it'll be okay it's still attached yeah looks like it's got all the wheels and tires on it so it should roll as long as the brakes ain't locked up I ain't even gonna try to shoot air into that thing <laughs> no it don't look like that's any should drag on there fairly go. simple though I don't think it's gonna be real heavy I mean it's cool it's a two-door yeah it does have the radiator yeah well I guess I'll back the trailer up here to the front of it and Go ahead and start winching it on there. Get her pulled out of the weeds. All righty. This whole motor's got me intrigued on this thing. Yeah, it looks like they left it in there for a reason. Yeah. You see something's been trying to make a nest up in it though. Looks fairly complete. Yeah. Missing a radiator, but I mean, that's just I just nothing wonder that, if it's still capable of running. That's what I say. It's not missing anything that 
keep it from running it doesn't and look no like. cab's not too bad but no door's got a pretty good lick on that side be pretty neat up we got an extra battery just to set up on it and see if it'll turn over it's worth a try check the oil in it see if it's even got anything in it it might have a hole that big in the oil <laughs> pan of it too so I'll grab that battery and see what we got, see if it'll turn over and hey, it might fire up. <laughs> I doubt it, but it might. See the dipstick. Got a plug wire, two, eight and a half. This is a transmission dipstick. And a red wasp. Really? Yeah. Where at? Over here up underneath this manifold. Good red wasp. Bunch of them? Or? I, I see one for sure. Yep, there's another one. Yep. Hmm. Looks like maybe he was just a lone ranger. Still don't see a dipstick. Here it is. I was looking right at it the whole time. It's got a hole in it. It'll run then. <laughs> Ground cable. Ah, uh, looks like it's missing the solenoid, huh? Yep. There's another wash coming up. Yep. You see the wire that would have ran down to the starter? Oh, I guess that's it there. Yeah, solenoid's going. That's not good. Yeah. That wire's yeah. eight and a half. Now oh, we're missing the cap and everything. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Well, I'd rather find that out now, though, than spend an extra 30 minutes trying to yep. figure so it out. there's already stuff being robbed off here. I would think though that if it was, if it would have still been good, they wouldn't have been robbing too much stuff off of right. it. Right, yeah, there's no telling. Coils so, messing off of it, I see it's yep. bracket there. Yeah, well, whether it turns over or not, it's not gonna, definitely not gonna run. <laughs> I don't know why I keep digging in it. I guess I'm trying to find more wasps. At least make it a little bit more interesting <laughs> that way. Well, we tried. We can try to see if it'll at least turn on. Turn on, yeah. yeah. I mean. Might as well. I'm done drug that 200 pound battery out here. Let's see if we can just let that one reach. Maybe turn it around. We can hook it on the side of this. Oh. Touch it. Yeah. Not much of a ground wire. Really? Yeah. Oh. Nothing. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh well. Just thought it would at least spark. Yeah. He said that ground wire is not much count anyways. It's worth a shot. At least none of us got stung. <laughs> I figure we'll come back and grab it, get that gas pump later. At least we kind of have a better idea what we bought. Yeah, I was a little bummed that the old Chevy wasn't going to run and now the Ford's not, but I am really happy about the Chevy still and this old gas pump. Yeah. Pretty cool. I would guess probably 70s. I would think so, 70s, 80s, something like that. But still, that's 40 years old. You think we have room on the trailer to go ahead and grab it now, or probably I don't not, think I don't. so with that notched out in the back. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's all there, too. 
gas on this side. Shows gas was 57.9. Oh yeah. Hopefully there's still some in it then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back, bring the trailer, get the cab, get the gas, gas pump. Call it a wrap. So this should be the last piece of the puzzle on getting all these old vehicles back to the house. Uh, although it's been a little time consuming back and forth with the trailer, uh, it's still been a whole lot easier than it was with that old Chevrolet truck. Uh, right now the game plan is we're going to go ahead and try to get a jack up underneath here. Uh, trying to load it like this is just not going to work real well. Get a jack up underneath it. We brought some wheels and tires. Uh, have no clue on the lug nuts. Hopefully we can find some in the spare lug nut jar we brought. Uh, get some wheels and tires on it and then just drag it on there with the winch. Uh, we still got to grab up the old gas pump. It's kind of heavy. We'll just manhandle it onto the trailer, get everything strapped down, and head back to the shop. We got these last couple pieces loaded up and it looks like we hit it right about time. Uh, the sun's going down. Uh, everything worked pretty well. We were able to put the wheels on the front of this truck, made loading it a lot easier. Uh, grabbed the old tank and it began rooting itself into the ground. Uh, so we'll get everything back unloaded. Uh, this looks like it's mainly going to be a, just a parts truck for somebody. The old gas pump will be cool to set outside the shop. Uh, all in all, really happy with the purchase and uh, just kind of excited to see what we can do with some of it. So quite often when you get these leads, you never really know what to expect or what you're going to get into when you get out there. 
Uh, that was the exact case with this scenario. We knew we had a gentleman that just needed some old vehicles moved off of his farm, uh, but we really wasn't sure what he had or what it even take to get him out of there. Uh, as we got to looking around, this old girl was the first thing we seen peeking out of the trees. I knew that this truck would be right up our alley. Uh, there's a lot of people that are looking for this body style right now. And I also realized it was going to be a lot of work to dig her up and get her out of there. As far as the old wheelies go, I'm really not familiar with those cars. Uh, I know that there's probably some people out there that are needing it for parts or, or we'll be able to do something with it for sure. Uh, on the old Ford cab, it was basically just one of those purchases that kind of sealed the deal on things. A lot of parts have already been robbed off of it, but it still definitely has a lot of parts that can be used. We were able to get him to throw in the old gas pump as well, something that would be really cool to set outside of the shop. Uh, all in all, the price he threw out there at a thousand bucks for three vehicles and an old gas pump seemed really great to me. Uh, if we play our cards right, I, I believe I'll be able to get around 200 bucks for the old cab. Uh, maybe around $500 for the old Willys car. This truck will probably clean it up a little bit, get some tires where it rolls and steers a lot better. I think I can probably maybe squeeze around $2,500 out of it. On the old gas pump, I've, I figure around $200 on it. So all in all, we're going to make money, we're going to win, and had fun doing it.